Hey there, Mike here with Glampin' Life. Today, I'm gonna go through the setup of our Ultimate Beach Kart XL, and most importantly, tire maintenance. So, I'm gonna show how you inflate the tires on the 12 inch balloon wheels that have the wheel bearings. The wheels that come with your cart that you'll probably see me take out of the box are the 12 inch balloon wheels with plastic bushings. The wheel bearings are typically a wheel, whether it's in the 12 inch or the 16 inch that we recommend if you're going to be towing your cart with a bike or um, a golf cart. Wheel bearings do roll a little bit better, so yes, they, they roll a little bit easier, but not necessarily night and day difference when you're hand pulling the cart unless you have it loaded down, then you want to go with a wheel bearing. In the box because your wheels are gonna come in a box inside the box of the beach cart, they're gonna be square because they are completely deflated. There is a template guide that you can use when you're pumping up the tires. We strongly recommend using a hand pump. Um, air compressors, you can get a little out of control quickly, and if you put too much air in this tire, it's not covered under warranty, You've ruined it. You, you could ruin it because this material will just stretch and stretch and stretch and it does not stretch evenly. So you could have a bulge or a lump. Hand pulling, you don't really notice it, um, but put it behind a golf cart or a bicycle and you'll see the cart starting to bounce. Um, I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. This is not the highest quality hand pump you will ever have in your lifetime. It works. Um, the first thing when you take it out, just make sure the, the two ends are tightened. When you go to pump up your tire, and I'm not going to make you watch me pump this up, but if you do not get this pushed down on the valve all the way, you're going to hear what sounds like a air leak, and it's because you're not getting a very good connection. You may need to put some pressure behind the valve when you're pushing down on this to make sure that you get a good seal. That's not a good seal because it's not pushing the valve stem in. Um, so sometimes these can be a little tricky. You need to kind of push together as you clamp this down. That's how it should sound. Um, you're going to hand pump these, I don't know how many pumps I've never counted, but the goal is you want to just start to round out the tire. Let it sit overnight or go put it in the sun and it'll, it'll stretch out and it'll, it'll round out because at first you'll think, wow, that's a little lumpy or it's not exactly, um, you know, rounded, give it a day or get it in the heat, it'll be fine. These tires are meant to squat. They are not meant to feel like a basketball or a soccer ball. You will damage them. They will not last. They are meant to squat, so most people don't have tire gauges, I get it, that read, you know, one, two, under 10 PSI. The wheels say you can put one to two PSI in them. Do not. You don't need to. Just get enough air into them to where they start to round out. They're supposed to be squishy. Uh, so you're just going to hand pump, you're going to start to see the tires kind of push out. Um, I'm going to finish this later, I'm going to put this to the side so that I can pull the beach cart out real quick. We also recommend that you do not open your box that the wheels are in with a knife so that you don't slice them. The box, you can. So the first thing you want to do, inspect everything. If there's any damage, you feel something's missing, have questions, unsure, call us. Get on live chat through our website, send us an email contact us. You need to give us a chance to either tell you everything's okay or fix it or whatever it is that's needed. We will take care of you. 
you have a five-year warranty on this card. Even if FedEx or UPS damages your card, we're going to take care of it. I'm going to pull this out of the box. Everything is in a bag. This box has your 12 inch balloon wheels with plastic bushings. I'm putting these to the side because I am making this cart for my wife to use to take to our community pool so that she can carry her chairs, have an umbrella, and all of my, both of my daughter's stuff. Uh, liner, instructions. If you do not like the instructions um, because you like to watch the video, whether it's because I'm handsome or funny or just very informative, you can ignore those. Um, I'm going to explain everything. I'm going to put this to the side, actually. We'll come back to it. Um, so you're going to have your handlebar, your axle, your two chair racks, and a bag full of clips. This is your handlebar. Your handlebar goes on the end with one welded sleeve. The two chair racks go in the um, two sleeves on the back. Uh, the bottom half of the front sleeve, your front leg will go. Um, or soon we have, in the next month, um, right now is the end of May, next month we will have our front swivel wheel coming out that you can replace that leg with. There will be more information on that very soon. I'm going to set that to the side. So, if I remember correctly off the top of my head, the hardware that you will have, you will have, let me take it out so I can show you. Now I'm going to flip the card over and mount the axle to it. You will have four large D pin clips four small D pin clips. These big ones go in the bottom of each tube. There's holes drilled that way. That way, if you put an umbrella in there, it doesn't fall all the way through for transport, storage, whatever. Whatever you stick in these holes. When you get to the beach, if you want to drop your umbrella down into the sand because either it's very windy and you want to stabilize the cart or you just want to lower your umbrella, Pull that pin. You will have four of these. These screw into each one of the accessory tubes. That is to tighten up against anything you put in there, whether it's an umbrella or um, your swing arm, your surf racks. So I'm going to put two of these on, get these started now. You're going to have four thick spacers. These um, are optional. They go on the outside of the wheel on the axle. So you'll put your wheel on the axle, one of these on, then you'll have two of these locking clips. These go in, in the axle, flip it down. Then you will have two U-bolts. This is what bolts your axle to the frame. You will have anywhere from four to eight small washers. Those go on the U-bolt and then your locking nuts. So you'll have four locking nuts. If you are missing anything, if you feel you are missing anything, if you are unsure, give us a call. Hop on live chat through the website. Send us an email. Um, Live chat through the website and calling almost every single time you're going to talk to me. Um, if you email, you may speak to me or my wife or um, possibly someone else in customer service. But when it comes to live chat and the phone, almost every single time you're going to talk to me because I feel it's very important to be accessible to our customers to ensure I am doing everything possible to take care of you.
Let me get these out of the way. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the, I'm going to finish taking the axle off. And I'm being very careful with my knife so that I don't cut myself or the frame. It's aluminum frame. I mean, even if you scratch it, you won't hurt it. It's not going to rust, so it's not like you're scratching paint on a steel cart where when you scratch the steel carts, they rust. And nobody likes rust. I'm not going to take the time to unwind that. These... We've really upgraded our packing. <laughs> we try to keep it so that nothing is loose in the box. So this chair racks, got your legs shrink wrapped to them. You're gonna have two chair racks, one front leg. Um, I'm gonna sit those to the side. So, I believe it's 10 millimeter is what we're going to need. There are two approaches to this. And the reason for that is not all U-bolts are made equally. These are spot on. Sometimes there could be a little bit of a tolerance of the U-bolt is spread out a little bit too far or spread in a little too far. Um, I'm going to test this and see how that works, and then I'll also talk through that um, the instructions, if you read them, say lay the axle over and drop your U-bolts down. Sometimes um, that works. That's pretty close. Um, sometimes that's pretty close. Um, sometimes it's easier to put the U-bolt over the axle first because you need to be able to pinch on these U-bolts to drop them down in, just like I did. You may not be able to do it with your fingers. So what you do is get a pair of pliers, drop the U-bolt over, and just put a little bit of pressure. These are stainless steel U-bolts, and you're going through aluminum. You're not gonna hurt the threads all the way through. You're not gonna hurt the threads. I mean, I've... I'm gonna check this other side. I'm going to get these started. Um, and I'll demonstrate because these aren't dropping through super easy but that's okay because again you're not going to damage the cart or the handlebar So sometimes you may just need to kind of twist this. There you go. And push it down. Again, if you have to tap on these to get them to drop through, you're not going to hurt anything. So because this side is closest to me, I will start this side first. Um, you can double up on the washers if you want since you're going to have extra. It won't hurt anything if you do. Just make sure you get the locking nut threaded before you start cranking down on it so that you don't cross thread. And I'm not going to edit this video because I want you to see exactly what it was like for me to take a cart out and not do what fast food places do and make their hamburgers look all pretty because they aren't served like that. Hopefully this isn't too long of a video. Now, when you... I have an extra washer. So I had nine. Um, when you start to crank down on these, you just want it snug. This axle isn't like a car axle that spins. Um, if you crank down... You know what? I have an eight millimeter... Yeah, those are tens. If you crank down too much, you're going to start to dent the frame, which is just not. 
not necessary. And I kind of do a little bit each one, that way the same amount of threads are showing. The other thing I'll do is I'll use my fingers to kind of line up. Go ahead and turn this this way. Um, oh, nailed it. Um, pretty much spot on. I just use my fingers to line up. It's not the end of the day if one side is more than the other by a little bit. You don't want it too much. Otherwise your tire could get a little too close. That's pretty snug. That's pretty snug. So, four lock ups, oh, four locking. The four larger D's shaped clips. Go in the bottom. Um, I'm not going to go through and put all the clips on. You, I'm pretty sure you understand. Um, again, the the large D. Um, sorry, the large spacers are optional. They go on the outside of the wheel. Sometimes people want to put them on the inside to move the tires a little bit farther away from the frame. Um, this liner, the logo goes in the front. And then you've got Velcro straps that just Velcro around the bars. You still need to be careful when you load your card up. If you put something heavy in it that pushes it through the side, you could push the liner up against a wheel and rub on it. This is a double fabric liner with um, cotton in between, so it's much heavier duty than what we have normally used in the past. We upgraded, I think, last year. Um, better Velcro connection points are being used, so it, it's a really nice liner. There's a pocket in the front. Um, again, your chair racks slide in the back. If you're using a knife, be careful. Cut away. I don't think I cut that all the way. I did not. Leg. Four settings. We have changed this front leg a few times. I should address it now. Your cart is going to lean forward. There's a few reasons for that. One, it's to help help offset the weight that you put in the back on these chair racks. You have two holes, so you have different heights that you can put those. So the front leg, the cart will sit, it'll tilt forward. It's to help offset weight that you hang on the back. Now, it's a two-wheel cart. It's all about weight management. The better you can um, put the weight in the cart, the easier it is for the weight on the handle when you're pulling it. It also keeps the cart from tilting back. The Another reason that we shortened it was people kept dragging the front leg. I know it's adjustable, but to make it easier when pulling, we just shortened it a little bit. It's not... Um, that bad once you get to the beach let me give you a couple tricks that we do first off I use the 16 inch wheels so the 16 inch wheels versus the 12 inch wheels you're gonna have more of a tilt to the front um, I have seen people use small sandcastle molds to use it as like a kickstand or a stand um, when I get to the beach um, I draw land a line in the sand with my heel I kind of dig out a river not very deep, just a couple scratches. That allows my tires to drop down in it. Makes the cart a little bit more secure. Then I kick some sand up under the front leg. This is only if I need the cart level. I use the swing arm, so I don't necessarily need the cart to be level for my umbrellas. Some people do though. Um, kick a little pile of sand up under the leg and then the cart. 
if it's a if it's windy enough that you need to secure your umbrella the other thing I do is I pull the pin clips on the chair racks jam them in the ground I don't jam them in the ground I, I push them into the sand that kind of locks the cart in place and it helps the more weight you put in this cart the heavier winds your umbrella that's attached to the cart can be in however you need to use good judgment on very windy days you should use an umbrella on very windy days everybody tries to use an umbrella so just do what you can to make it safe if you're using our swing arm we use a bungee cord to connect the umbrella canopy um, frame down to the swing arm to keep it from turning into a missile we have umbrellas coming out in the next month hopefully they will be here before july um, they will have a sand screw or an auger bit or a, a sand anchor in the bottom of the pole that will fit in our tubes and you can screw it in to the sand to secure it it will be all aluminum it'll be an eight foot canopy it'll be a 16 rib so it'll be heavy duty nice rust free umbrella um, so those are just some tips that I can remember off the top of my head. Again, if you have questions, comments, concerns, problems, contact us. Let us take care of it for you. We hope you enjoy your beach cart for years to come. Um, thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful.